649. This is your morning in eight minutes. This morning, Crime Stoppers needs your help finding a sex offender they say has a history of violent crimes. He's wanted on more than a dozen different warrants. Take a look. Police say Terry Hefner should be considered armed and dangerous. He's wanted on multiple charges, including aggravated robbery and theft. A cash reward is being offered for any information that leads to the 42 year old's arrest. Call that number at the bottom of your screen. It's in your WVLT News app as well. And this morning, three teenagers are charged after a shooting near Westtown Mall over the weekend. Police say no one is hurt. KPD responded to the mall around 845 Saturday night after reports of gunshots on Gleason Drive near Belk. A 15 year old and two 16 year olds were arrested after a short chase. KPD says two of them had loaded guns along with suspected burglary tools. One of the guns was reported stolen out of Knox County. The second 16 year old was charged with evading arrest. KPD says more charges could come for other people detained at the scene. The investigation continues this morning. And a 39 year old man is facing DUI charges after crashing his truck on Martin Mill Pike. KPD says he had to be extracted from his truck by the Knoxville Fire Department. Take a look. This happened early yesterday morning. KPD used is using this incident as a reminder to never drive under the influence and use a rideshare app or a designated driver. The driver is facing multiple charges this morning. No other cars were involved and thankfully no one is hurt. Well, today Knox County Commission members set to meet for a work session. With dozens of items on the agenda, commissioners' votes will impact schools, roads, and other projects throughout the county. Commissioners will also discuss amendments to Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs' growth policy plan. That meeting will be held inside the City County Building. It starts at 5 o'clock in the main assembly room. We'll keep you updated as we learn more tonight. In this morning, a former Scott County Fire Chief charged with stealing more than $13,000 from his own department is expected in court. The state comptroller's office claims he took money from departments accounts over several months. Officials say former Paint Rock Volunteer Fire Chief Austin Luallen also used the money for personal purchases, including alcohol and utility bills. The comptroller's office tells us at one point he was the only person in charge of the department's finances because they didn't have a board of directors. He faces theft and fraud charges in Scott County Court this morning. And this week, Big Ears is back in Knoxville. Yeah, the four-day festival brings in thousands of tourists each year. The festival kicks off officially Thursday. It goes until Sunday. It features about 200 concerts at different venues throughout downtown Knoxville. Several Grammy-nominated artists are expected, including John Baptiste, Molly Tuttle, and Andre 3000. Weekend and single-day passes are available now. Kurt Vile and the Violators will kick off this year's festival at 7.30 Thursday night in the Knoxville Civic Auditorium, followed by Adrian Linker. And WDLT is proud to be your official station of the Vols. Time to fill out your brackets and let the madness begin. College basketball's March Madness officially in full swing now that the NCAA is out with this year's bracket in both the men's and women's championship. The Vols are heading just about three and a half hours away from Knoxville to Charlotte for the first round of the NCAA tournament. Tennessee is the top two seed in this year's tourney. They'll take on 15 seed St. Peter's in the opening round. St. Peter's made a big run two years ago. That game set for Thursday, 920 p.m., a late tip off on TNT. And Kelly Harper's Lady Vols are a six seed in the women's tournament. They'll head to Raleigh, North Carolina against 11 seed Green Bay out of the Horizon League. You can catch that game on ESPN at noon on Saturday. If the Lady Vols win, they'll take on either number three seed NC State or 14 seed Chattanooga. Tennessee enters the tournament with a 19 and 12 record, maintains their streak of never missing out on the dance. And before you know it, football season will be here. Yeah, your football balls are set to hit the gridiron this morning for spring practice. It's the first of more than a dozen practices leading up to the April 13th Orange and White game at Neyland Stadium. As a talented group of new players look to get comfortable going through drills in their new home, we're going to talk to Coach Hypel and give you a look at how the balls are shaping up so far. And if you're still feeling a little luck from St. Patrick's Day, you got two chances to win more than half a billion dollars. Yeah, the Mega Millions jackpot is $875 million this morning after no one cashed a winning lottery ticket Friday night. So if you win, there's a cash option of $413 million. The last time someone won the jackpot was early December, so it's been a while. The next drawing is tomorrow night at 11 o'clock. And tonight's Powerball worth more than half a billion as well. The drawing up to 
$645 million. The pot has been growing all year long without a winner since New Year's Day. The lump sum option is $307 million. That drawing is tonight at 11. It is 6.54. Let's send things over to Kristen Allen with your first alert traffic. Good morning. Getting a look at that first alert traffic this morning. We've been seeing a little bit of a buildup there on I-640 going into downtown to take 40 west as well. I've seen a little bit of a backup there. You can see we've got that traffic flow, but nothing really that's going to so slow you down. Just something to be mindful as you are headed out the door. 40 at Hall of Fame Drive looking pretty good this morning. Not seeing any big slowdowns in downtown just yet. Of course, we'll keep a close eye on that for you, especially as we head into that morning rush. Taking a look there at your drive time, 75 South, Raccoon Valley Road to 640, taking you eight minutes this morning, 640 West from 75 to 40, taking you three minutes, and 40 West from Asheville Highway to Paper Mill Drive, taking you nine minutes. Everyone is up to speed and on time. Five minutes to seven now in your first alert forecast. If you're just trying to wake up, trying to get your day started, actually maybe step outside. That'll help wake you up on the good way. No, I got that little bit of a chill here. Temperatures again dropping in Knoxville to around 37 late in the seven o'clock hour. Sunrise not until 742. So we actually hit our low late seven o'clock, early eight o'clock hour. Then notice we can start warming back up a few degrees. It'll be 41 degrees at nine. So these next couple of hours, that warm jacket, a must. So far 40 in Knoxville, but 35 Maynardville. You're at 32 now. Jamestown, 33 in Everett, 38 Cosby. Sharing the chill this morning, occasionally a light breeze. Again, those winds going up, especially late morning to afternoon. So that's why right now it feels like 36 in Knoxville. Those scattered clouds stirring around. I do expect clouds in and out, some more sun midday, but notice these wind chills. I'm charting out your whole day here. When are you leaving? When are you headed out? All right, feels like 34 to start the day. Still feels like 42 at noon. Feels like 44 at times this afternoon and evening. You get back into those upper 30s. That's why that jacket really is coming in handy. Well, on into tomorrow, too. Remember, we get that frosty cold start in those upper 20s tomorrow morning. Next couple afternoons, though, at least start warming back up. We officially start spring at the end of tomorrow. Then that first full day of spring is going to look and feel better on Wednesday, giving us a nice little warm up before some showers return. So I'm tracking that out for you as well. Coming up on the CW at 7 o'clock. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. We got teased with the weather last yep. week. It was yeah. so nice. Tis the season, though. We got some big ups and downs yes, as we go we into do. spring. That's for sure. 6.56, heading over to WBXX, the CW Knoxville on this Monday morning. We'll see you over there. Have a good one.